what's up everybody so before we begin today's video i want to go over some nice good things for the people man for the traders out here so so check it out so the tgo course this is the course i started like a little over a year ago almost two years ago and um a lot of y'all showed interest in it and i've been doing mentorships and in the process of doing the mentorships i've been finding out what people need so i've been adding to the course so little do y'all know the course used to be 32 lessons it used to be six hours but if you go to the course at the current moment today you'll see that i added some stuff the price is still the same but we got 40 lessons and now we got 9.5 hours worth of video content man we almost got 10 hours in there man if you pay attention to show more you'll see the new tab advanced level two and this is interesting too because it's going to show you uh some good stuff this video right here definitely got some source in it you need to go watch it i stand behind this uh we got some of the tgo workshop videos going back over two years this is a lot of content for y'all to watch there's some gems in there now here's the dope part if you got the course this is no money to you just go check out the extra content if you don't have the course however this is more reason to get it man because it used to be six hours now it's nine I added some new lessons a new module um for those of you who complete the course there's a certificate you're going to get from me personally uh as a thank you and um yeah so check it out because one thing i will tell you we got to talk finances man we are living in the world of inflation and due to that fact if you get this now you get it for this price but once i keep adding these videos because i'm going to constantly be adding videos in the next couple of days i'm adding videos as we speak right now the price will continue to go up guys so please understand that the price will continue to go up so please hop on this while you can because i don't want any people crying uh we have a software sale and i'm going to switch over to that portion of the video now yo what's up so before i get into this video i just wanted to show you that um i've been trading forex and forex has been going very smoothly for me one of the things i'm not noticing is maybe it's because of um all the changes that happen i don't know but i don't know on all my um mt4 forex broker accounts i've been like dibbling and dabbling in them i've been giving signals from uh two of them and it's been going smooth so i said you know what in celebration of that and the fact that i'm helping a few people learn how to trade right now i decided to do a sell on the website so if you go to the website all the um mt4 software is pretty much on sale now the prices have recently went up so this is going to be one of the few times that you get a chance to actually get it on this price so i do recommend if you were thinking about getting the robots um go check it out so just go hit the mt4 tab at the top where it says metatrader 4 on the website and um when you go there you're gonna see a lot of the popular uh robots and i will tell y'all now because a lot of people ask me the main move that i like to use that i use for the signals and when i'm sleeping is this one right here okay so it's gonna take a second to load but it's bank specialists because a lot of people do ask me that you could click on the videos right here on the side and check it out but a lot of y'all tend to ask me um you know when i recommend something i can't really recommend it for you because i don't know what type of trader you are but for me that's the one that i use a lot of people like the scalp and the best robot for scalping would be actually bank executive because this is for people who like to go on these lower time frames and take signals but the thing is, I, I don't recommend stuff because I don't know if you understand that you should be trading 10, 20 pips on the five minute chart versus uh, trading 100 pips like me on a one hour chart. So a lot of people don't know those differences. And that's why I say you do need to kind of sit down with me and let me help you with your trading. But uh, yeah, so we're going to get into this video, but I figured I'd just show y'all real quick. And yeah, let's go back to this live trade. And this is in the signals group. And for those people asking about the signals group, I will reopen it uh, in June. Every month I reopen the group if I have enough people signed up because sometimes when I post this, y'all act like y'all don't see it. No one signs up. And then I guess once y'all get cooked and y'all start losing some trades, y'all come looking at the channels. And when y'all get to get around to my content, um, y'all see it. And then by then it's too late. You know what I'm saying? And some people get mad about it. But i have to go based off the interest you show so if you don't show a lot of interest i can't keep posting it but um yeah so it's here uh, and i would take advantage of it now but also for those people because i guess because i don't say it when you come to the video if you're not subscribed subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you'll get that alert you know it's not just me trying to market a uh, subscription 
but get the alerts because a lot of y'all seem like y'all come to the videos a couple weeks later or a week later and by then if i didn't see anything in those first couple days i took it down or i closed it because i can't leave things open because the people who scam and they come in there and try to do like heinous stuff so i have to like gauge and i have to vet who's coming in and out of these places so there you go so here's your opportunity to get this mt4 stuff on sale because like i said it's been going great for me i don't know if it's because everybody was jumping ship i don't know what happened but it's been very smooth the last couple of weeks man you know me and my partner and a few of my other trading friends we've been talking about it it's lovely man it's like really a good time so if i was you i would invest in it now while you can because like i said um sometimes i'm not paying attention to the prices that get put on the site because somebody's doing that for me but um, I, I did see that the prices went up because I did tell them raise the prices because it started costing me a lot I didn't know the prices was that high. So here's the sell. So here's the opportunity. So let's get into this video. Peace Salute good morning good afternoon good evening depending on what time of the day it is you watching this video uh, This is gonna be a real quick video talking about why do traders uh, do other things besides trading to make income uh let's be honest man it's, it's gonna either be you trade and you work or you trade and you do something on the side um some people think that just because traders sell courses or they sell robots and stuff that it doesn't work um you know they're not successful with trading the truth is when i have conversations with people and i tell them my trade they don't register that as anything and then when i say i'm a fintech developer they eyes fall out their sockets but i'm like yo being a fintech developer just means I develop financial software. But being a trader means that I understand this market. A lot of people don't understand in your day-to-day -day process, your pension, your retirement, your 401k, all of that stuff is in the market. I don't think people understand that that's more important than anything knowing what's going on. I just had a conversation with two dudes who work at NYCHA and that's the, um, that's the, that's the civil service employment for New York City's uh, you know housing authority right and one dude was 38 and the other guy was 30 and i was telling him i said yo uh how long do y'all take how long do y'all gotta work before y'all get y'all pension and the, the younger guy said 10 years which my job was the same and then the other guy said yo i don't even know and i looked at him i said yo y'all look too young and i know that and then i asked him i said you're not for nothing how old he said he's 38 years old man 30 i told him i said yo you too old you're not even young you too old and i know where your pension is at he just was happy to be working man so and that's cool but that's what i'm i want to talk about a lot of us when we went to these jobs and, and they told us how to get up and go to work it, it was instilled in us from young man you get up you go to school you get good grades it shows how much you listen the better your grades the better the job opportunity for you right because it's going to show that you you proved yourself that you're a good listener you you do the job that you're told i'm not knocking school by the way i'm just explaining the programming so then when you apply for jobs they ask for your resume because they want to see how well you've been listening well well oh you got fired you didn't keep a job on um you don't have a gd you don't have a high school diploma you don't have a degree all of these things show how well you listen so the more things that you come into the job without the lower your value is to that company Y'all never thought about that, right? That same mindset that they program in y'all is why most of these people who come to me who I encounter don't understand trading. They can't trade. They can't figure it out. They think it's impossible. They think it's a scam. They don't think it's likely. Anybody could trade. But it ain't even about being a trader. It's about knowing what's happening in the economy. To me, you should know what's going on with, with gold, silver, oil, food, your pension, stocks. A lot of people, when they work and they retire, based off what I see, they might not even have a pension. But you're not gonna know that unless you are learning some economics. The best economics I saw was learning the market. So that's why I'm like enthusiastic about it. That's why when I was talking to my mentor, he told me, he asked me about oil. And I said, yo, oil was at 111 at the time. And he says, damn, bro, how you even know where the price is at? And mind you, he been trading twice as long as me. Matter of fact, might be three times longer than me. And he was shocked that I knew the price. 
he said, I never look at the price, I just trade, which it's okay. You could be that type of trader. He's that good at the, the price action. He don't look at the price. He just knows the direction. And that's really all you need to know. But he didn't have to worry about the pension. So he don't have to worry about if the stocks are doing good or bad. He's going to trade it good or bad. But me, somebody who had a pension, I had to worry about that because if these stocks do bad, my pension's in jeopardy. So I hope this conversation ain't getting too deep, but I just wanted to tell y'all, you should always have like more than one one basket. Even if you trade, what if they close the market? Like I was telling people with Forex, I said, yo, this ain't gonna last forever, this ain't gonna last forever. The way that things are on Forex, it ain't gonna last forever. And look, they started closing it down. Now it's hard to find an offshore broker. Now people trade in futures. All these different things, right? You could wake up tomorrow and you can't trade again. So then what? So that's why when people have opportunities with trading, I tell you, take them. Like, don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. You could you could wake up tomorrow. Sorry, I'm doing that because of the noise that truck that truck is making. Um, I'm at a, a big facility and um, where it's a lot of uh, postal, civil service, for government, state workers right here. So like a lot. So it's a lot of uh, working going on. And I look at this and I be thankful. I don't look at this to gloat. I look at this to be thankful. I'm not in the rat race no more. But I will tell y'all, you know, you got to be very, very uh, mindful of these things, man. We, we are simple minded people. We become docile. We let these phones and these apps keep us real basic and simple. So many people don't know about trade and they don't know about how to check their, their funds and pensions and stuff. I'm looking around because people are around me. But I just hope that, I, you know, I'm, I'm being mindful. Like me as a trader, I call myself a fintech developer first because I develop financial trading software. So people, when I say that, they look at me and be like, oh, he's he's up in his uh, skill set. I'm like, no, it's what I do. I make financial trading software. I make financial analysis software. I make financial tech. So when I say I'm a fintech developer, people get shocked with that. People act like a dude from the hood can't make be, he can't have that title, can't be that person. It, it kills me. Last night I saw people out jaws drop when I told them that. They say, yo, what do you do? I said, I'm a fintech developer. So they know me coming from a later job. So saying that to say, yeah, I sell courses, I sell robots, I trade. Um, I sell a lot of things. There's a lot of different things I do uh, for multiple streams of income. And yeah, it does fund my trading. But I will tell y'all too, these opportunities, you got to take them. Just like with the prop firms, I had the robots I was catering towards. Uh, people pass the prop firm challenges. Some of y'all passed them, you know, but most people wasn't taking advantage of that like they should. Now they're crying and prop firms are going, now they're on contracts and futures getting smoked. You don't even hear too many people talking about futures right now. It was a big thing. And now you don't really see too many people posting trades and talking about it because the market's slower. Oh, it's safer. Yeah, it's safer because it's slower. Sometimes safe ain't good. <laughs> I don't know when y'all gonna realize, man, you gotta take risk in this life. The people telling y'all that it's safe and it's good is the same people who, who don't need it to make money. They don't need to trade to make money. They make money of education. I make money of education. We all do. People need to stop pretending like, oh, you know, oh, I, 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 I'm a trader and I'm a successful trader. You don't have to trade. I don't have to trade, honestly. I'm at a point where I don't have to trade. I trade because I want to keep my skill up. I want to know what the market is doing. And because when you stop trading, you start you start losing your um your keen sight of what the pairs you like to trade are doing. I could go to a pair that I traded for years and know what it's doing because I watch it every day. I check every pair every day that I watch. I check my charts every day, religiously. So when I get done editing this video, when I'm while I'm editing this, I'm going to be checking charts. That's what I do. I like to know what's going on. So when I see the news and I hear things, I'm like, up, oh, we shorten NVIDIA. I remember I called the NVIDIA uh, sell in the group and people ignored that. And I went crazy on that NVIDIA trade. I'm not even gonna say what I, what I made, but I posted it and people was like, yo, that's crazy. Bro, I posted it in the group. We got a signal from Nancy Pelosi husband on the news, literally, he, it was so crazy. He got in trouble for telling people about that. I said, this man put 200 million into NVIDIA shorts? I hurried up and clicked that button. I didn't even look at the price. I just clicked it based off that news. And when I woke up the next day, I was, I was come believe my eyes. It's, that's just how it is because we're programmed to think a certain kind of way. People didn't even catch that. So I just need to tell y'all, like, really start questioning the things that you think are normal in life, man. Like, why you wake up every day and have to go to work? Why is it like that? 
because everybody don't get it that that's got to be programmed like that or everybody would not work people wouldn't have jobs remember they, they were calling it the great um not the great depression the great resignation in 2022 and they said everybody was resigning from their jobs and stuff because people started to learn their value when COVID happened people were learning things people were getting skills people were getting excited about their dreams again and people started realizing that it ain't have to be about going to work the government showed us that you don't have to be going to work every day to make it in life people learned how to do that shit when COVID happened so with that being said uh i wanted to make a video to tell you man you know don't don't ever like doubt yourself don't ever think that you can't do all these things you can learn to trade and sell your courses and teach people how you learn um you see ict a lot of people learned ict there's a common thing that people say about ict that makes it questionable people can learn the same strategy and one person could be buying one person could be selling that's my neighbor right there <clears throat> does she see me she don't see me <coughs> that's my neighbor i just saw my neighbor anyway one person could be buying one person could be selling and um they would be like how come the same Hurt the same strategy is giving a buy and a sell for two different people. Somebody I was training, <coughs> I told him the same thing. He, he showed me a fair value gap and I told him, I said, did you know there's two types? And he said he didn't know that. And I'm like, see, this is the stuff they don't tell you about this stuff. Because people are too busy trying to follow instead of just questioning and learning these things. Yeah, that's definitely my neighbor. That's funny. I'm at my neighbor's job and I even know she work it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm ask her later. You saw me making a video? She probably gonna be mad. She be like, oh, you don't work no more. Cause she used to see me, she used to see me going to work and we would joke about that. I told her, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my job. I'm gonna leave my job. She didn't believe me. She see, she's at work and I'm making this video about to go home and chill. But anyway, um, yeah. So I just wanted to make a video to talk about that and explain that to y'all. Let y'all know that um, you know, we were programmed this way. That's why when I talk to my partner. He's like, yo, everybody is annoying. Like when they, they only show me when they lose a trade, they only show me this, they only show me that. He says, yo, right now I told this dude to do this and he's doing that instead. And I said, bro, the reason that's happening is because these dudes is working and they have this mindset that they don't believe what you're saying because on YouTube people are saying X, Y, Z and you're saying ABC. They don't believe you because the person saying X, Y, Z is has 100,000 subscribers, has 200,000 subscribers. You are somebody that's not on the internet like that, and you're saying the complete opposite of this dude. People are inclined to follow. It's how we were taught to live. School teaches you, follow what the teacher says. You get rewarded. Your job says, follow what the boss says, you get rewarded. Trading is the same thing. That's why people follow so much, so many scammers so much. People don't understand how, huh? Even me, I'd be like, damn, why y'all keep listening to so-and-so effects? This dude don't know what he's talking about. But he got a lot of followers. And then I think to myself, you know what? It's the same thing I always said. It's that situation where... It's that situation where it's like, yo, who they gonna listen to? The, the unpopular person or the, the person that's in that, that, that uh, role of leader? They gonna listen to the leader. So... It's up to y'all, you know, to take this information and do what you want with it. Y'all already know this is just like content for traders to listen to while you're doing whatever it is you're doing. I'm not saying don't go to work. I'm not saying don't go to school. You do what you got to do to get by in life. It's going to make your life easier. You do it. If getting a high school diploma is going to make your life easier, get that. If you're getting, a, getting that degree is going to make you get more money at your job, get that. I'm not saying don't do it. That's ignorant. What I'm saying is when you get it, understand what you're doing. You know, you're playing a game. It's a system and you're in that system. When you come over here, all that shit, leave it at the door. Because it doesn't apply to this trading lifestyle. It don't. That's why a lot of people cannot get it. Because they're programmed. Oh, so-and-so said do this. So-and-so said do that. Yeah, they saying that because they profit from telling you that. They need you to listen to them. That's how they make a living. That's how we all make a living. I need y'all to buy my robots. I need y'all to buy the course. I need y'all to do that stuff. That's how we make a living outside of trading. It's no, but I don't get why people can't just tell you the truth. I guess the truth is not as marketable. And I'm not getting on here to try and be like, oh, I'm, I'm keeping it real and they ain't. I'm just telling y'all what I see as an older man who retired from his job, who people always doubted. People question me up until today. I got questioned last night about a bunch of stuff that I was right about. 
And I see these people who questioned me years ago coming up to me, yo, you was right, you was right. I'm like, I know I was right. That's the whole point of life. You better believe what you're saying. You better understand what you're saying and believe it. Or you won't be able to see it through. So I ain't gonna make this video any longer. I just wanted to have a conversation with y'all. I'll let y'all know that, man. Stop listening to uh stop listening to all these people following them because they're gonna lead you down the hill, man. They're gonna sell you out, man. Yeah, they're gonna my neighbor right there. I wanna know if she saw me. I, she had to see me. Like this literally my next door neighbor. But anyway, I'm in the video here, man. Let me get out of here. I gotta go home. Y'all be good, peace.